Randy Honeycutt thought he was being awoken by a home intruder. Turns out it was his guardian angel in disguise. I've never had anyone knock on my door at four o'clock ever before. <laughs> Randy Honeycutt startled out of bed in the early morning of January 4th. I had someone beating on my house. A stranger beating on, then kicking in Randy's door. I thought somebody was breaking in my house and I had my guns on my, my hands on my shotgun. But it wasn't an intruder. Randy says it was divine intervention. A voice alerting Randy and his wife of danger. Hollering fire, fire, fire. Randy's home engulfed in flames. I kicked out both windows up there on the side to let some air in and realized there's no way I could go out that way. Randy and his wife trapped in their bedroom. So I kicked my uh, air conditioner out of my other window, and when I did that, I realized I could get out. The fire was steady, but it wasn't raging. And uh, so I hollered at my wife, we'd get out. As soon as he got outside, I started looking for the Samaritan that woke us up, and he was nowhere to be found. Randy believes the voice was sent from above. My dad died a few days ago, and I just somehow believe he had sent me some help. He literally had died three days before the fire. Now Randy wants his guardian angel to know. Saved my life and my wife's life, and I think the man needs to know that. And wants to meet face to face to say. Thank you and I love you. Randy says if anyone knows who that stranger in the night is, please reach out to us at Two Works For You so we can reunite them. In Collinsville, Vincent Hill, Two Works For You.